All right, business bosses. So today I want to educate you guys on the difference between the Gmail business and the Gmail workspace. Those are two separate things. I also want to show you guys in this video how to list your business on the right side of Google. So I'm going to do my best to um, share as much information as possible because I had a video uh, how to build business credit in 2025 and I show some behind the scene things and YouTube took it down. So I have to go back and redo that video. So don't worry, I'll come back with you guys on how to build business credit in 2025, okay? So first, I want you guys to understand that when it comes to listing your business on the right side of Google, you have to have a Gmail business account. We're not talking about the workspace, okay? So first you want to go to Gmail and you can go to accounts. So you can go to account create, Okay, it's going to take you over to create a Gmail account. We're going to click on create a Gmail account. Once we click on create a Gmail account, we're just going to go down where it says create an account. Okay, once you go to create an account, we can go create an account. See here where it says for work or for personal or for child. You want to go here where it says for work or my business. This is not the workspace. This is not a paid account. This is a free account with Gmail that anybody can sign up for in order to put their business on the right side of Google. Okay. So once you click on that, it's going to ask you for some information as far as starting to build out the account. So we're going to go to get a Gmail address. All right. Now I'm just going to input my information here. Go to next, date of birth. We're just gonna put something random in here. Uh, let's go with 1987, okay, female. We're gonna go to next. All right, so this is where we create the Gmail. I will recommend that you create a Gmail that uh, goes with the actual business. So I'm actually doing something for a client right now. So I'm gonna go with, uh, let's see. Uh, ENT. Okay. So create whatever type of user name you want to use for your business and then obviously generate a strong password. I'm only praying that YouTube don't take this video down, um, but I want to show you guys how to do the process. Okay. We're going to go to save. You don't have to enter in a recovery email for right now. If you have one, you can enter it in. So we're going to go to skip. Okay. You can skip the phone number for now. We have the, the Gmail that we're going to be using. All right, you go to next. Once you go to next, you want to make sure that you scroll all the way down and then you hit I agree. So you agree. Okay, this is not the workspace. You did not have to get a uh, paid account with them because the thing with the workspace is that when you get a paid account with them and then you no longer need that account, you lose access to all of your emails. So this is just a free business email. All right. So now what we're going to do next, we're going to list the business on the right side of Google. So this is the part, y'all, where I got to be a little careful, but I'm going to do my best. All right. We're going to go to continue. All right. We're going to enter the business information. So your business information here. If you're an LLC, you can put LLC. If you're in corporation, you can put incorporation. Okay. Okay. We're going to click on the actual business name. Make sure everything is spelled properly. I just want to make sure everything is spelled properly on my end. Yes. So we click on the business name. We go to continue. Okay. We're going to go to service business. Hit next. Category. Business. Management. Consultant. Okay. We're going to hit next. Area. United States. And then whatever state the business actually is in. So they're actually in uh, Nevada. We're going to go to next. Okay, so here's where things end up becoming a little tricky, okay? Now when we're utilizing the 800 numbers or the 866-844 numbers to put the business up on Google, Google have been giving us a little bit of pushback. They want us to verify that you know we actually have an office space because the um the phone number is not coming up properly. What I want you guys to do is we want to switch over to a company called eVoice because eVoice um 
avoid those problems. And also at eVoice, they're going to give us a local number and a toll-free number. We also have the option to get text message on that particular number. So then what we're going to do is we're just going to put in the number here that was provided. So let me get this information for you guys. So we're going to put in the local number that was issued to us in order for us to get verified here, okay? Okay, then we're gonna go to next. Once you hit next, it's going to take you to this spot. Now, if you already have an account, it's not gonna take you here. It's gonna take you to this next page, okay? So once we get to this next page on Google to do this Google verification, this is where things become very important that you guys follow these steps, okay? So looking at it right here, you guys think the business is flagged. The business is not flagged. This is where we go through the verification process, okay? So with their business, we're gonna go with, all right? Now, if your business have a suite, I would recommend putting the suite number as well. So we're gonna go with the suite number here. We're gonna hit next. Once you hit next, it wants you to verify that your phone number is a good phone number. You can do business video, which we don't wanna do. We just wanna do phone code. So we're gonna to go to next with phone code and we're gonna do text. So they're going to text us over the code for this particular business, okay? Once you get the code, you want to enter the code right here. Okay, we're gonna to go to next. Once you go to next, it's gonna say you are now verified. We're gonna continue going to next and then you guys are gonna fill out all the profile information for this business. So this is one way for you guys to get around uh, having your business be verified through the business uh, video. We no longer need the business video. We just have to make sure we set the business up with a regular number for right now. So you guys can use your cell phone number or you can utilize the number that eVoice gives to you guys. And what happens when you guys utilize the number that eVoice gives to you guys, you wanna make sure that you get a, a local number as well too from them. So you're gonna use the local number and you're gonna make sure that you get the plan where you can receive text messages, okay? So with this, you guys just go in and you fill in all the information as is, all right? Go to next. And then from here, you put your business description. If you can avoid skipping this part, do not skip it, right? Because sometimes when you skip it, you end up putting yourself in a position where they end up unflagging the business and now you have to go back in and unflag it and do the same thing over again. I am going to skip the process right now because um, I don't have the client's information offhand. Yeah, I can probably go to ChatGPT and drop the information in, um, but I'm going to skip the process. So once I skip the process here, then it's going to ask you for the phone number and things for the business. Put up the phone number, uh, excuse me, the logo for the business, okay? If you guys don't have a logo, you guys can go to places like ChatGPT, have them create a logo for you, or you can go to 5R, have them create a logo for you, or you can go to uh, Canva and actually create an actual logo, okay? So make sure that you guys put the logo information in here. So guys, it's that simple on how to get your business on the right side of Google. If you guys have any questions, drop your questions down below, and I'll be more than happy to assist you guys. I appreciate you guys, as always, as a reminder, Bosses build business credit. I'll talk to you guys soon.